Okay, hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Spins nice and free. We have our epoxy here. It completely covers. I'll show you a few light angles because I can't see the same direction as the camera. So make sure that you can see. And I notice this comes up a little bit. But if we look straight across the top of it, none of it comes up the stick. If it does, take something and scrape it down and try not to scrape the, the rod here. You don't want to present friction in your deal. Now the next thing that we really need to do to this is make sure that it doesn't leak. We don't want air to leave it or come in. 90% of all the home-built Sterling engines that do not work is due to a leaky displacer and leaks in the outer chamber. Or too wide of a hole here that makes it leak even more. This probably about 15 to 20 percent of the problem. The outer chamber leaking can be a problem. But this is 90 percent of it. This is 90 percent of it. If this leaks, then all that other air inside this makes it more like a sponge. If you're trying to hit something with a hammer and you got a sponge there or some foam rubber, it, it, nothing's going to happen. This will absorb and cushion. Air compresses. And you can put a vacuum on it and it's springy just like your bicycle pump when you push it down you can feel it and it, it pushes your handle back up that's because of the pressure air is springy anyway we're going to do the displacer leak test on this in a minute show you how to do that all right this water here is hot but not so hot i can't stick my hand into it you can make it hotter if you want, but I don't want bubbles popping up under the bottom from boiling. So we stick it inside. Do you see any air bubbles coming up other than the ones that I disturbed off the bottom? If I move around like this, I'm sure you'll see a few come up. That's stuff stuck to the pan. There. But no leaks. We've given it time to heat up in there. That's your displacer leak test. Now if you got a leak on this, you really want to have something handy, a few paper towels, a sponge or something, and wherever that leak is, that's the first place you want to stick it. Because as soon as you pull this out, this air starts cooling and it contracting and it'll suck that water inside. The last thing you need in a Sterling engine is steam building up in your displacer or anywhere else in it. Matter of fact, your uh, pistons, you don't, uh, let me change camera angle here. Okay, the last thing you need inside a Sterling engine is steam. So as soon as you pull this out of the water, you want to have some paper towel ready. And wherever your leak is, that's where you want to put it first. You want no water inside your displacer or inside your chamber. <laughs> Not very good. Um, another deal is you don't oil the pistons on a Sterling engine. And the oil vapor finally gets in there and you keep adding oil after a while. Basically you get a concentration of oil compared to your air and you get a nice mixture and you got some nice heat under it. Kaboom! Guess what? You just mixed uh, a flammable petroleum product with air. And when it gets to the right mixture it becomes more and more volatile. Not very good. That and I'll show you where not oiling it actually uh, makes it run better. All the old uh, Ericsson riders and things like that, they didn't oil that business. Dry leather washers.